Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province announced plans to establish a cat adoption center at the Eco Farmland in Hwasong City. With its completion slated for December, this center will serve as a shelter and adoption agency for homeless cats. The province also plans to expand its temporary shelter program, which currently only deals with homeless dogs, to include homeless cats. Kyungi Province began preparations for the 2021 Korea Basic Income Fair, the world's largest forum on the subject, with the launch of the organizing committee. Slated to open on April 14th, the major components of this year's event, including the local government representative committee meeting and an international conference, will take place in an online format in consideration of the current pandemic situation. Kyungi Province announced the results of a recent survey of freelancers in the province, the first of its kind to be conducted in Korea. Nearly 90% of the survey respondents said that they had experienced unfairness. It was also revealed that approximately 40% of the respondents had an annual income of less than 20 million Korean won, while the average annual income of freelancers in the province was 28 million Korean won. The province will use the survey results as the basis for the development of comprehensive support programs for freelancers. With renewed recognition of the importance of the domestic materials, parts and equipment sectors, especially after Japanese restrictions on exports to Korea, the Yongin Semiconductor Cluster was designated as a specialized complex by the Korean government. On March 3rd, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited a related enterprise and spoke with personnel on site. During this visit, Governor Lee offered assurances that the province will provide the Yongin Semiconductor Cluster with active industry support so as to help advance technology standards. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to launch backstreet commerce promotion projects so as to help small businesses that are experiencing difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic. To this end, Kyungi has allocated a total of 3.7 billion Korean won for three initiatives, including the province's Commercial Hope Project, as well as the promotion of commerce at mountain resorts and along waning commercial streets. Support will be provided on an application basis to four commercial districts that will be selected from among those that have or plan to establish local merchant organizations. Applications will be received via local government offices until March 25th. On March 11th, the second Lifelong Education Support Center for Individuals with Developmental Disorders opened in Shihung City of Kyungi Province. The aim of this center is to help adults with developmental disorders participate in lifelong education programs and adapt to social life. This center features various facilities, including counseling and therapeutic rooms that are geared to help users achieve independence. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.